Protests continue at Waffle House in the wake of the arrest of Chakisha Clemens. She was arrested two weeks ago at a Waffle House in Saraland. The viral video is of her arrest has been a rallying cry for civil rights advocates. News 5's Chad Petrie has more on how protests in support of Clemens may be losing some steam. No justice for peace. A group of about a dozen protesters gathered Saturday morning at the Waffle House in Midtown Mobile on Government Street in support of one woman. The whole Waffle House Corporation needs to be held accountable. So that's why we're here at the downtown location to show everyone that it's not just a Saraland Waffle House issue, it's an all Waffle House issue. Justice would be to have these officers and those like them off of the force. A small but loud protest. The people supporting Chakisha Clemens have a lot to say, but there may not be a lot of them showing up at these protests to say it. Whether we're in Atlanta, whether we're in Mobile, whether in Tennessee, whether we're in South Carolina, the people of our following is no, no longer a doormat. Protesters also gathered outside the Saraland Waffle House, but organizers spent a chunk of their time debating whether to even go through with the protest after a little more than a dozen people showed up. It ain't nobody been in this, let this get swept under the rug, man. I can tell you that right now. You know what I'm saying? That ain't been to get swept under the rug. Eventually, some protesters walked inside for a sit-in to order a $2 drink and take up space. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on. And while protests supporting Chakisha Clemens seem to slow down today, one fundraising method has come to a complete stop. A GoFundMe page raising money for Clemens is no longer accepting donations. It stopped just shy of $29,000.